Yes, and welcome to Energyland. This is uh, crazy. I don't know. I'm speechless. It's, it's kind of weird to be here. Energy Landia, the halfway mark on our massive trip around Europe. An amusement park located in southern Poland near Krakow that opened in 2014. It's quickly growing to become the theme park with the most amount of roller coasters in the world and it should reach it in just a couple years time. A park so new that most of the park was still a field of grass on Google Maps until just recently. An average of two roller coasters added per year here and it's under 10 years of operation. It is one with a mixture of fair rides and well-themed areas with incredible coasters surrounding them. And you can just see how there's constant new construction through the years as this park grows to be one of the largest. The park is split into three main areas at the front half of this park. Fairy tale land for the kids, family zone for all ages, and extreme zone with larger rides. Although with attractions quickly opening, the lands have somewhat become a mismatch over the years, and the cohesiveness of this front area of the park is really out the window. It's more of a mismatch of different rides in random areas with some cheap theming and mixed in some expensive theming. Hopefully it's all updated one day to make this part more cohesive, as this is the first impression of the park that you get, and it does get much better from here on. With that said, it's best to head to the back of the park first. It's a long walk, but it's worth it to go back here and then make your way slowly back towards the front. This is it, the famous tunnel under the road with the big reveal at the end. Boy. The back half of the park is themed with Dragon Zone, Aqualantis, and Sweet Valley. And you can tell the park really listened to guests and created a higher themed experience back here. Zadra was first for us and what a ride it is. The pacing is excellent and the speed through each element is great. It's smooth, truly one of the best rides in the world. It has a nice mix of elements, plenty of near misses. The area that the ride towers over is also my favorite area of the park. Plenty of places to sit and enjoy the atmosphere of the ride in a nicely themed street area. It's the chairs! I saw these chairs in a video like two years ago and I've always wanted to just sit in one of these with a beer and watch Zadra. So I'm gonna get a beer later and I'm gonna just sit in one of these and just like watch. Coming here first means that the ride will likely just have one train operation, but Zadra does add another train once the line reaches the bottom of the stairwell going up to the station. So we found the line continues to move quite quickly in the opening hours. You can grab a few rides here without waiting too long. It's like intense. It's it's good. You kind of gray out on the first uh, turn upwards. Oh yeah. You get insane negatives. The stall is really fun to just look straight down. The exit of the stall is insanely whippy, and yeah. so is the exit of the outer bank that it throws you out of the station. Like every single element just hits really hard. It's it's a good ride. It is. Definitely worth the trip to Krakow. Operations here are also amazing. They had eight people checking restraints on Zadra, so it, like, the thing is dispatching extremely quickly. There's no stacking at all. Okay. We are gonna head to the brand new Aqualantis section of the park to ride Abyssus. The new Aqualantis area of the theme park. This water themed area features a couple of coasters, including the feature ride of the land, a double launch ride from Vacoma Abyssus. One of their longer models, and this new generation of Vacoma, is smooth and comfortable. I do wish they'd get rid of the over shoulder restraints on this train, as they just don't feel needed and really do take away from the ride experience and freedom of movement. For this reason, it's not my absolute favorite ride here. It left me desiring more. While the layout and forces are there, the execution is just not. Another Vokoma, the family boomerang Ekipa, is similar to many others of this model that are popping up around Europe. It fits in nicely here and is one of two family boomerang coasters in the park. The other located in the middle of the park is also a fun ride. Both are worth going on. Abyssus is incredible. I think the thing that holds it back are the shoulder restraints. They really mess with the airtime, but um... And use the trip still restraints. 
This is also the moment we notice that there are full bars everywhere around Energylandia. <laughs> These are, this soda and two shots were like six dollars, so cheers. Cheers to, to Energylandia. Holy cheers. <laughs> the bucket list of sitting in a chair outside of Zadra and I have a beer in pretzel. All right, here we go. I can't say enough good things right now about the one third of the park that I've seen to Energylandia. Street is live on up. Sadra again. <laughs> All right, Austin, what coaster is next? Tell me the name of it. We are going to Formula One. No, we're going to Frida, Queen of Bands. I'm going to go to Formula One. Frida. Goodbye. <laughs> Have fun on your purple coaster. An Intamin water coaster. Speed is another very good ride. I love straight drops. I think something about them barreling straight towards the ground allows your brain to process the speed a bit more and actually what's going on around you. It also is really a visually pleasing drop and support structure. I love the look and feel of these water coasters. The trains are fine, just excellent ride. Let's go! Let's go! time for the very first new generation Vacoma Looper formula. What used to be considered the worst manufacturer in the business and now here we are uh, riding this like incredibly smooth ride. It was a ride that gained a lot of attention because of how smooth it was and the newer element styles that it used. It's still one of the most popular rides in the park and it carries a long line throughout the day. It was actually longer than Abyssus and includes a lot of the similar elements in a very short layout. Very good ride and it's really just the changing point of Vacoma. They're really into this new generation of roller coaster now and this is the one that proved that they could do it. found a pierogi stand and uh, the way to go is always potato pierogi so here we go finally my first pierogi in Poland this was my bucket of pierogi and then Mark is making me go on this crappy coaster instead of oh what is that in the background an intimate hyper wow <laughs> much rather go on that the rest of this park is a very odd mix of roller coasters, some kid ones, some all right family models, and a bunch of fillers and many of the same type of ride. Over and over there's actually about six coasters that I still need to ride here because they are just small ones and I felt that the quality in other areas of the park was more worth my time, like on Hyperion. I don't look <laughs> crap. And Mark literally just dragged us through a bunch of crap just so we could finally ride. Hi, here you are. My 700, my 700 roller coaster. After two hours of riding junk. This Intamin mega coaster is the only of its kind in the world. The trains are massive and you can just feel how heavy these trains are and how fast you're going. There's nothing like this ride. Mark's 700 We're coaster. We're about to ride Hyperion, guys. And he's he's buying these tricks because he just put me through hell with all those stupid little kitty credits. Hey, the 700. <laughs> guys, 700 credits. All the crap we go through. We still got a ways to go. Oh. It's actually my personal favorite in the park. While everyone else preferred Zadra, this was just the best ride for me. Oh, that was really thick. <laughs> the 
there's also a wild mouse with shoulder restraints there's an slc and there's plenty of other oddly placed rides kind of scattered across the front half of this square theme park still the major issue with this ride is the queue you have to go up and down all these stairs you have to go up more stairs around that corner up and down up and down now we're on a bridge we're just gonna go up down and there's just pathways here like why do you not make the entrance right there it makes no sense you have to walk an extra half a mile every single time you want to ride this thing once Oh no, we're stuck on Hyperion. <laughs> and the whole tower's like slightly wobbling and it's a little bit scary, but pretty awesome. Just got stuck on the lift hill for like, I don't know, four minutes. Hyperion was actually a little bit and, scary, it was and, just swaying. Yeah, it was swaying, it was terrifying, was, but was you like, could just <laughs> look down the lift hill and like everyone was like running to Hyperion, all the management and stuff. And like, it wasn't even a big deal. There was like 20 employees like clapping for us. Yeah, like, made like it back. The, the park, like management came, like everybody came. <laughs> that was like a really big deal. It's raining out here. A lot of the park left. However, they just started testing Hyperion. So we're gonna see if we can get rides before anybody else notices. <laughs> it the coffee crab our favorite bar one this is Bradley's first shot this first <laughs> one. Bradley's first shot ever Cesagra you ready Bradley, you gotta chug it. Like, this is gonna put me over the edge. Like, like, open up your mouth and just shoot it. You ready? And then just have the orange juice right after. Oh, okay. Zadra. For, for Zadra, for Bradley. Three, two, one. Go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, my God. You got a lot of orange juice. That's so easily. Holy shit. <laughs> Stop talking about the operations. The ride operators are so nice. The rides are so good. I love Abyssus. I love Zadra. I love Iberion. This one, two, three punch at this park. It's of course dependent on who you're traveling with, but as of now, Energylandia is my favorite stop of this whole trip. Thanks to the good staffing levels that the park had when we visited, many food and drinks options, and the large selection of re-rideable coasters, we were not waiting in any lines, and we just had a pleasant experience with everything. Their coaster collection is pretty much perfect, and Energylandia has an incredible amount of attractions. With a few quality dark rides and another high quality show, I believe it really could be the best amusement park in the world. Right now the park's placing more bets on some new coasters that include some world first elements which should complement their already amazing ride collection that they have. I really just can't wait to return here soon. 
Just like that, we're back in the car and headed north to Lek Coaster at Legendia. This smaller Polish theme park was put on the map for this Vekoma roller coaster. It opened in 2017. Keep watching to find out our thoughts on that ride, which many consider one of the best in the world. Thank you for watching, and until next time, see ya.